TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, well, really, partly sunny, Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow off 575 points. That's one in seven tenths percent. The S&P one and a quarter percent or 55 points. The NASDAQ one percent, 144 points, one and a half percent for the Russell. That's 31 points, three percent for the semis. They're down 200, uh, 103 points. The trannies off one and six tenths percent. They're all trading lower. Trading to the upside. You've got the spot volatilix. It's up by nearly 10 percent. You want to watch that come days in. XAU having a gigantic day. It's taking out a resistance level out there. That's suggesting it wants to continue to move higher. Gold's up 36 bucks. Trade out 1937. Silver, big day up four and a quarter percent. That's a full buckaroonie. Trade out at 2540. You can see that what we've got here is you have the flow of capital out of Europe coming to the U.S. You've got gold up price in dollars. You've got the U.S. dollar index up. You've got the 30-year treasury, which is trading up two full points, two and seven ticks out here, trading out at 158.29. This is the global flow of capital home out here. But let's go take a look at what the markets are doing. We take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin, well, as soon as we get there, where do they go? Here we go. Here's our nine panel chart. The upper left hand corner, you've got the S&P 500, the ES mini. What it's done so far today is test and reject its swing point. That swing point they're referring to is the one now from February 24th. A test and reject a swing point on lighter volume, which it's doing. Uh, that could signal move up to that descending trend line in that 40. 484 level. Of course, the spot volatilities, which is still above its 50-day exponent moving average, says any kind of rug pulls are big into the downside for the S&P, but there's not enough volume, it appears, to push things lower. You've got the NQ out here, which hasn't made it all the way back to the top of that swing point from the uh, 24th here of uh, February. That would have been getting down to 13.983. We've been down to 13.998 out here. Uh, geez, what does that say? Can't push lower into the swing point? Hmm, something to think about. Now, the U.S. dollar index having a big move. If it can close above 97.44, that's a TD9 count top. That's then going to signal that price is going to move higher. Gold is trading above the top of its uh, new profile. That was 1924. We're trading 1937. That would be bullish out here. Uh, if we take a look at uh, silver, it's headed up towards the top of its weekly profile. That's at the 25.59 level. Light tweet crude on its way to 107. Your price is 104 right now. Just a consolidation with inside its daily profile for natural gas. And the 30 year treasury making its way all the way up to the top of its weekly profile. That's at 157 and 26 30 seconds. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific.